What's going on, world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we'll be discussing moon in the fifth house and what happens when the planet that represents our emotional nature, how we nurture others and like to be nurtured in return, the relationship with our mother, what happens when that planet comes into the fifth house, the house of creative expression, uh, romance, our hobbies, all right? What, what, what do we do for fun? How do, what is our creative talent and how do we put that to use? So let's get into it. When moon in the fifth house, your childhood is very, very important to your development, okay? As is the relationship specifically with mother. Depending on the sign and the aspects to your moon, your parents or your mother may have been very outgoing with you, okay? Um, may have gotten you um, into a lot of creative activities such as acting, dancing, painting, sports very early on. And what this did, because moon is so receptive and moon is the mind, what it did is what it what it did was that it gave you that confidence. Remember, fifth house is originally associated with Leo. It gave you that confidence to tackle your creative endeavors. So, on the flip side, if your mother or your parents did not cultivate that aspect in you and giving and showing you, um, you know, all the possible creative outlets as an adult you're incomplete your mind doesn't is unsettled it doesn't really know how to what it wants and how to go after what it wants so in this position what your parents show you early on is going to play a huge role all right so we can go further in on this um some fifth house moons i know off my head oh um justin timberlake I, and Justin Timberlake is very multifaceted, all right? He's not only just a singer, but he's an actor, all right? And also, he was very much so a heartthrob and a romantic himself. And the next part about having Moon in the fifth house is that your romantic affairs are very important to you. Dating, dating for a Moon in the fifth house is like... It equivalates to like a Venus and a Gemini expression where you may you may constantly have a lot of partners, all right? Because with moon in the fifth house of, of dating and you know hobbies and experience, they want to experience a lot. So someone with moon in the fifth house can date could date anyone from the range to a doctor to an actual street thug. Street thug. Oh my god, I can't believe I used that word. I didn't want to use drug dealer, but that sounds better than street thug. But anyway, um, yeah, the, the the it's a wide range of who the person would date, all right, and how picky they are or things like that is just gonna be is gonna get opened up more by the sign expression and and things like that. So someone who has a fifth house. Most most of the fifth house in uh, moons in Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, which would be the Earth, they're much more conservative in their approach. Um, it's not as social or doesn't have a lot of changes or fluctuations like other elements. So Earth, when your moon is in Earth, it's pretty stable, all right? Uh, and these people perfect easily those things of that house, those, those creative aspects, all right? Uh, with your fifth house and fire, everything about the fifth house is just an adventure for you or as a competition. These are really the, the doers. These are the people who I, I have to perform. Like, I don't just think about performing. I want to perform. I want to be out there. And I'm passionate about the things about the fifth house. So even in the sense of dating, you know, these are the people who, you know, they are, if they're taking you out, say it's a guy and he's taking you out on a date, say he has a moon in Sagittarius, he's going to try to woo you um, with an amazing date, you know, take you to like an Indian restaurant, show you something of a different culture, all right? Um, 
the water signs here um, in the fifth house, the relationship with mom intensifies here or has much, much of a more effect than the other elements because the emotional tie with mom needs to be um, developed and kept open, all right? So even within, and that leads to, you know, emotional intense relationships and romantic affairs and things like that. Um, and then we have air. Air, fifth house moons. This is the next part about what your parents uh, show to you. So normally, these parents are pushing academics, all right? And for an uh, air sign, fifth house moon, is very important for them to have that intellectual freedom to try whatever it is that um, that they want to, all right? So especially when when your fifth house is in air, you don't want to have any boundaries. You want to go out there and explore and increase your your uh, intelligence through the things of that house, all right? So through all of these, I think that um, a fifth house moon is just excellent for, for teaching um, in general because the next part of it is uh, a fifth, uh, the fifth house deals with kids. So the moon, whether you're a guy or a girl, this is at the same time a feminine, you know, it's a feminine planet, it's receptive. So um, I think that that always provides a great thing for a teacher um, when there's like some type of emotional um, connection between student and teacher. So I think this is great for any any type of teaching with kids, right? And like I was saying, um, a lot of actors um, or entertainers have moon in the fifth because the mind the mind is here and being creative and expresses, expressing oneself through a creative endeavor brings the person peace of mind. So it's like a natural confidence um, to go after those things. And this is the energy that, that is kind of on your side. Uh, other fifth house moons... Justin Timberlake, I said. Oh, Al Pacino, one of the best actors ever. Um, oh, Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. Yes, Leo Rising. I think like she has like a Scorpio moon in there. But um, lots, you know, her love life has <laughs> been very Leo-like and very up and down and all over the place. So that's a great example. Someone, someone who's in love with love. Someone who's in love with love, uh, moon in the fifth house. So, you never, like, you may, these people may never really appreciate fully what they have because the idea here when your mind is here is like, oh, I'm going through a new phase in my life. I need a new partner who fits that. So, it's a lot of uh, changes um, in, in dating. Um, here's another thing, like, because the fifth house is, um, about, like, gambling and things like that, Specul speculative business. A lot of you, you know, who contact me say, I don't know anything about aspects, you know, and then from there we get better. But I'm just letting you know, like, for a fifth house, moon, with great aspects, you know, trines and sextiles and things like that, it opens the door more for you to um, excel at these things. So remember I said it's just like a natural confidence. Other factors in your chart may hinder that confidence. But what I'm saying to you is that despite how you look or how you think you sound, if you have a passion for something that involves the fifth house and you have good aspects, this increases your likelihood of... Um, excelling at that. i give you a great example. Say there's a really dedicated person who wants to be an actor, but they have no fifth house energy, or maybe they do and it's not aspected well. And you have another person who has moon in the fifth, you know, who kind of is like playing around with the idea, like, I think I'd, I'd love to try acting or something like that, but they don't really have the, the, the will to go after it and make it happen. What will really happen if these two people go into an audition, despite the fact that, you know, the, the more disciplined person with less fifth house, good fifth house energy, despite they may work harder, 
that person with the better aspects or more fifth house energy is liable to get the role just because it's more of it's more fitting or more aligned with their destiny okay so i hope that makes sense so um depending in certain houses i always encourage people don't think about that extra stuff go after what you want because energy wise it's in your favor okay um as a parent you know when you guys become parents uh it's it's pretty i've seen it like let's just say 95 percent of the time you have a moon in the fifth house in like a really like you know nice sign like a water sign or like a, a taurus or something like that your likelihood of having children increases so much but it's like going to be like a 95 percent chance your first child is a female okay is a female right but i said like 95 percent, right that leaves another five percent where your first child may not be a girl but you know what say you have a son that just has these feminine qualities about him all right his sexual orientation has nothing to do with this just his overall demeanor how aggressive is he or is he more feminine like nine times out of ten if your first son if you have moon in the fifth and you're you have a son first he's gonna be quite feminine all right so these are ways that we can see see these things okay so overall with that said it it's a lifelong lesson that you need to have an emotional connection with children your children okay and the sign in which your moon is in and fifth house is in is going to show how you go about that all right so guys this is my interpretation of moon in the fifth house i hope you enjoyed if you haven't subscribed to my channel feel free to do so until next time peace